you've ever travelled down Mornington Peninsula to Rye or Portsea, you might have wondered what lies beyond the patch of land at the end of the freeway. Nestled between Rosebud and Bonio is one of the peninsula's best kept secrets, Tukgaruk Swamp. With support from Mornington Peninsula Shire, BirdLife Australia and our partners are tracking bird populations at this almost 500 hectare oasis of biodiversity amongst an ever-expanding suburban landscape. My name is Cameron Brown and I'm the president of the Safe Tukaruk Swamp. The Tukaruk Swamp is unique because it's the largest remaining shallow freshwater marsh in the Port Phillip and Western Port region. Wetlands are important for birds because they provide a range of habitat zones over small areas. And in these small areas, there's high biodiversity. Here at Tukaruk Swamp, for example, you've got tall marsh, which is important for bitterns. You've got open freshwater meadows like this, which are important for crakes and ducks. Uh, you've got Garnia sedgelands, which are good for finches, uh, striated field wrens, um, emu wrens, and then you've also got these swampy paperbark areas, which are great for bushbirds, and they're all within a very small area. And those different habitats provide various feeding, roosting, and breeding opportunities for different guilds of birds. The swamp is being managed through many different uses, so uh, Trust for Nature covenants, Shire land, and private landholders. Love to see an increase in biodiversity that's coming out from the management of this land um, and would love to see that occur across the other land parcels. <laughs> I'm David App Thomas, I've been uh, bird watching for forever and I'm in charge of this uh, survey at Tukaruk. The purpose of the uh, survey is to find out what birds are present, their populations and the habitats that they live in. The surveys have identified uh, 110 species in the swamp. Um, including a number of uh, rarities, uh, the uh, southern emu wrens, which uh, we thought were uh, extinct on the uh, peninsula. We have a number of uh, Australasian bitterns uh, that lay them sniper here in, in summer. Um, the striated field wrens uh, we've found. Tukaruk Swamp is a significant wetland for bitterns because we think they breed there. It's got large areas of suitable habitat. They like big shallow wetlands with tall emergent vegetation. Secret of bird, they like to hide away. There aren't many breeding sites for bitterns around the country. With population size of around about a thousand birds, each breeding site is significant. The interesting thing for me is the seasonal aspect of the surveys. Different birds, different amounts of water, dryness, um, you know, wetlands just look so different. The function of the swamp actually goes beyond biodiversity values. Uh, what we have here is the largest flood mitigation site in the peninsula and it acts like a giant sponge preventing flooding in surrounding areas like residential and industrial sites. As sea levels rise, coastal birds are going to become increasingly reliant on uh, roosting and feeding in wetlands like this. As great indicators of wetland health, BirdLife Australia and its partners will continue to track bird populations and their responses to climate seasonal change and habitat management at this unique site.